I've been walking well now for a few weeks and I've returned to a normal working hours. What can I expect from phase two of ACL rehab? Well, phase two, if we're talking about timescales initially, um, this would normally be around uh, six weeks that you would start phase two and that can run up until about week 12. As we mentioned before, the timings of these phases will be uh, individual uh, and will vary uh, from person to person. Uh, what can you expect within that class? Well, the type of exercise uh, changes a little bit once you come into phase two. The things we'll be looking at are um, an emphasis on uh, strengthening exercises. So initially, this might be looking at strength endurance or improving uh, your resistance to fatigue or your stamina. Uh, and we're also looking a lot more closely at neuromuscular control exercises. Uh, and we've already mentioned this, uh, and you will hear it uh, mentioned a lot by your physiotherapist as well. What these exercises look at uh, are improving the uh, quality of your movement. It's about getting your muscles uh, acting in the correct pattern, uh, with the correct timing, to try and help improve the control and therefore the stability around your knee. Now these types of exercises uh, need to be uh, done um, with higher repetitions and a reasonable amount of frequency to try and improve uh, what you might call your muscle memory, okay, so that it becomes a more subconscious movement pattern. Okay. Um, do I need to be going to the gym during this phase? You certainly do. Uh, so when we're looking at strengthening exercises, we would be re recommending that you attend the gym three to four times weekly. And so it's really important that you uh, set aside that time in your uh, life so that you can uh, achieve that. Okay. And how will I know when phase two is complete? So towards the end of phase two, we will be uh, looking a bit more closely um, at your quadriceps strength. So you should be able to complete a single leg squat with a reasonable amount of control. Um, and if all that's going well, we would be looking at introducing a walk to run program. Basically what this means is that it's an interval jogging program. So you'll be walking for a certain amount of time and jogging for a certain amount of time. Okay? And that's progressed then over a number of weeks. We normally think about introducing that probably at the early stage of around about 12 weeks. Okay. What are the key challenges of phase two? So I think some of the challenges are um, uh, getting used to working at uh, a, higher ten a higher intensity with your strengthening exercises, having the confidence to do that, so you know, beginning to add weight to some of your exercises. It's also then getting used to the uh, muscle soreness after those exercises. This is entirely normal um, and uh, it, you will get that in order so that your muscles have to adapt and improve. 